Hi folks, as Christmas is rapidly approaching, I thought I would do a review on the six airsoft BB guns that I bought during the year. They've all had quite a few uses now, and I feel that I'm able to do an honest comment on all of them. Now, the first one that I bought was this SEMA 698 Plus, which I think is one of the best BB pistols ever. Not very powerful. The muzzle velocity, I think, is 140 feet per second. But it's proved to be very reliable, very easy to cock, only cost £10, and it's OK for using on the indoor range and providing you just have ordinary paper targets, the BBs will go through it no trouble. However, if you use one of the cardboard targets, which these I tend to buy, use them for the crossbow mainly, uh, the BB just won't go through it from this particular gun. The other nice thing about this gun, very very light, um, it can be modified by taking off the barrel extension and fitting a smaller clip into the base, so it becomes like a ladies handbag gun really. For the grandkids, it's really good, very reliable gun, and at a cost of £10, you can't complain. The second gun that I bought, I thought I'd go for something that was quite sturdy, metal made, and this was it. The Galaxy G6, which is a one-to-one -one scale model of the Colt 1911. When I first got it, absolutely delighted. Metal, solid, good weight behind it, very, very powerful. When you shoot the BBs from this, the card the targets literally disintegrate. Very, very pleased with it, delighted. The only snag was, after I had it for about three weeks, it broke. I took it back to the place where I bought it, which was Abdul's Market Stall and Shop in Northwich and said look I bought this from you three weeks ago it's broken what can you do for me and his comment was basically nothing because quote they are so cheap you don't get a guarantee and you can't get any spare parts for it oh well fair enough that was that he also did say that once they break, just sling them and get another one. Three weeks use. This one I also bought from Abdul before the Galaxy G6 broke. This is a Galaxy G21 and is a replica of the Walther P38. Again, one to one scale, very powerful. After about seven weeks, this one also broke. So I didn't bother going back to Abdul's and have decided that one, I shall never ever use his stall again. And two, that I won't buy another Galaxy pistol. 25 pounds each they were. And as I said, one lasted three weeks and one lasted seven weeks. And it wasn't particularly hard use that they get. So my next problem was, where shall I get any more of these BB guns from? And I decided to try just BB guns. It's a company that advertises on the internet. Generally speaking, I like to deal with real people, local people, but when they let you down, you've just got to try somewhere else. So I started off by ordering two guns. This one, you will recognize it's exactly the same as the first BB gun that I bought, the P698 Plus. Again, same price, £10. And the reason I bought a second one was because, one, the sights are so accurate, two, the grandkids love to use it, and three, I was very pleased with the first one. The second gun that I got from just BB guns is this particular one which is the Double Eagle M45F, which is a one-to-one -one replica 
of the Austrian Org. Very, very powerful, very, very well built, fits nicely in the hand, a great little gun, very reliable. The only snag on it is that it doesn't actually have any sights. So what you have to do is to look along the accessory rail and with a bit of practice, yes, you can hit the target. I mean, I tend to aim just a little bit higher than the target that I want. This is in the indoor pistol range. And I hold the pistol like that and usually hit the target. So another nice little gun. Then the next one I got from the same company is this particular one, which is a rifle. Uh, yeah, it looks quite different from the others, doesn't it? And again, this one was only £20 and very, very pleased with it, very pleased with it indeed. Um, but of course, when you get it, it's got one or two things on it which you don't really need, like this thing on the top here, it's a dummy sight. It doesn't help you at all when you want to aim for a target. So the only thing to do with it is take it off, don't use it. Next thing on this particular gun, you've got this foregrip with a torch. Let's face it, when I'm outside or in the indoor range, do you actually need a torch? You don't. Do you actually need the foregrip? You don't. So I basically take it off, use the rifle like that. Now, as far as the sights are concerned, you've got a pin sight, which you can see here, all right, and the rear sight is hidden behind this piece of plastic. And the plastic was originally solid all along the front. So effectively, you've only got half the sights in operation. Now, when you look in here, there's the proper sight with the V in. To make it useful, you can either remove the whole of this rail, or what I did was, with a hacksaw, use the V here as a guideline, and, I don't know if you can see it, yes you probably can, did another V here on the accessory, just above the accessory rail. So now I've got a proper sight on the rifle, and it is amazingly accurate, amazingly powerful and well built. So, at the end of the day, I can say I've had three guns from Abdul, two of which broke and the service was rubbish. I've also bought three guns from Just BB Guns. I can't complain of the service at all. Uh, the guns themselves are working properly. They're all plastic ones and I must confess, I think I will stick to just plastic ones in future. And, um, well, I think that's it. I hope that you guys have a good Christmas and those of you that are interested in Airsoft and these BB guns, I hope you get several to make you happy. Hang on. I hope I will also get several more for Christmas, uh, which will make me happy. Anyhow, it's been great knowing you guys. Hope you have a good Christmas and we'll see you soon. Bye now.